Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Fortnite video. In today's video, we have of course the patch update 3.2 that just came out into Fortnite Battle Royale. Not too many changes, but added that 20 uh, teams of 20 game mode where there's five teams of 20. It's pretty fun, but it is pretty laggy when everyone lands at the same spot. I've been playing it a little bit today, but there's also been in the patch files, some new skins that have been found and are most likely going to be released into Battle Royale at some point during this update because we have had this before where skins are found in the files and then they're released you know in the upcoming weeks and days so if you guys could drop a like on this video that'd be absolutely awesome let's go ahead and go for 129 likes that'd be amazing if you guys could smack that like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's talk about it so these have all been found in the files now there's no confirmation that all of them will be in battle royale so some of them may be for save the world only but i'm assuming and i've looking through what people are saying most people are saying most of these are going to be coming to battle royale and you'll see a lot of them are based around the St. Patrick's Day, which is, of course, coming up here in about a week and a half or two weeks, something like that. And that's where a lot of these are based around. So let's go ahead and let's talk about it. They've released the names of these skins as well as the uh, rarity of them. So let's talk about the first couple here. What we have here is the Power Cord Epic and the Sergeant Green Clover, which is an uncommon. These two are really, really dope. I do like that Power Cord skin. Uh, it is definitely something that we've never seen before. And of course, you can see the sergeant green clover is something that is going to be um with that saint patrick's day you know surrounding around there definitely you know it's not really an event that they're doing in the game but they are doing some custom skins for that these two skins are dope i definitely do prefer the power cord but both of these are really really awesome skins next ones that we have here are the highland warrior which is an epic and the battle hound legendary this one is really cool i like both of these i i really do like the battle hound one reminds me a lot of the wukong however the Wukong uh, character had like the outfit but it was just like a guy's face this one sort of has like a mask of what seems to be you know a wolf or a dog of some sort definitely a really really dope skin and of course you can sort of judge the pricing based on what it's going to be this these are an epic and a legendary skin so the pricing on these ones definitely are going to be fairly heavy and that's what I would say as far as those go uh, next thing we have here as far as skins are the war paint legendary and the rose team leader legendary now, there's been some debates around these ones. A lot of people say these shouldn't be legendaries, but I think what's happened and what's sort of been leaked is that people that own the game, the Save the World uh, part of the game, are going to be getting some bonuses in Battle Royale that can include, you know, th these skins might be on that list, as well as a glider and umbrella. Basically, that's what they've been saying. People who have been buying Save the World have been getting emails and basically getting these free two gliders, uh, which I'll show right now. And there's also been some rumors that these skins will be something that maybe they they get in the near future for a bonus in Battle Royale if you do own the Save the World portion of the game, which of course Battle Royale is free, but the Save the World portion does cost money. So that's the rumor surrounding those two skins and maybe that's why they're both legendary. Next we have two new, uh, or actually four new gliders here. We have Rusty Rider, which is an epic, and the Checker, which is a rare. I do think they need to up their glider game. I mean, there's been some crazy ones like the, uh, the one with the bear on it, the one with the dragon, but those cost costs a lot of money and uh, you know gliders should probably be cheaper than general skins because you only use them at the start of the game and if you hit a launch pad next is the stage dive rare and the storm si sigil which is an uncommon some pretty cool gliders there and then if we go for the uh, for basically uh, the things that go along uh, as far as backpacks go we have a skirmish legendary a six string epic which is sort of like a guitar that will go on your back which is definitely cool that fits along with that first pink uh, skin that I showed in the video there's the buckler epic and the pursuit legendary so a lot of different back blings i think they're going to start releasing back blings second uh separate i'm not sure if that's going to be true but if not you'd have to buy the skin to get the back bling and then when it comes down to pickaxes four new pickaxes have been shown which is the anarchy axe a rare the silver fang which is a rare the pot of gold which is an epic which is so dope i, I feel like it's going to make sounds and have different effects and then also the spectral axe definitely the pickaxes look really really good and I think the skin game in this game is so strong but the gliders and pickaxe game is something they could up a little bit as well as there is some new dances and emotes coming as well which I'll show right now we just have pictures for but that looks like pretty much all the stuff we're going to be getting I'm not sure if all of these are coming to battle royale but the majority of them are and that's stuff that we can look out for coming to this game very very soon thanks for watching guys if you guys could drop a like on this video that'd be awesome subscribe to the channel if you guys are new smack that like button and uh, thanks for watching guys and I'm out peace